A really powerful feature in Adobe Lightroom is the ability to create and save presets. All a preset is, is a way to save any of the adjustments you've made to a photo. So you can come over here in the develop tab, and make a bunch of changes to a photograph, and then save those changes as a preset and apply that preset to any other photo that's in your Adobe Lightroom catalog. As you can see over here in the presets panel, Lightroom comes with Lightroom comes with several presets built in. So under here, Lightroom black and white presets, we can hover over the preset to see a preview up here. Or to apply preset, just make sure a photo is selected and then tap that preset and it is applied to your photo. Because a preset is just the develop settings saved, you can apply a preset and then come over here and see exactly what settings are used to make up that preset. And of course, to remove the preset or to revert back to the original photo, just hit the reset button. So of course, you can create your own presets and save them under user presets, or you can even import other people's presets or purchase premium preset packages and import them into your Adobe Lightroom. So let's look at importing a batch of presets. I happen to have on my blog, camerastupid.com, 100 free Lightroom presets. And you can go to this page and download a package of 100 free Lightroom presets. So once you've downloaded the preset pack, it should show up in your downloads folder as a zip archive. And you have to extract this Lightroom presets folder from the zip folder. On a Mac, you can just double click. And I believe on the PC, it's similar. Uh, but you just need to extract the presets into a place on your hard drive where, you're, where you can import them in, in Lightroom. So here's the 100 preset pack from my blog. You can see Lightroom presets have this LR template extension. And here's a bunch of presets that are all named uh, different things. So once that zip folder is unzipped, we can go back to Lightroom. I like to keep my presets well organized into folders and you could put them in the user presets folder but I'm going to create a new folder and to do that you can just right click anywhere on this panel and create new folder and I'm going to call this camera stupid uh, because I got these presets from the camera stupid blog and hit create and we can see here a new folder uh, with nothing in it yet uh, for the camera stupid presets. Now to add presets to this folder, I'm just going to right click and select import and then navigate to the place where I unzipped those presets, which was in downloads and Lightroom presets. And then I just want to select all of these. So I can click the first one and then hold shift and scroll to the bottom to select them all and then hit import. And that might take a minute because there are quite a few presets. But once the import's finished, you can see I now have uh, uh, over 100 presets in this camera stupid folder. And I can apply them to my image and find one that I like. So that's importing presets. I'm just going to reset this. Now there may be a case if you're updating uh, computers or changing computers. Uh, that you want to export your presets and save those presets so that you can use them on another computer. Now to export a specific preset, I just right click on that preset and select export. And I can give it a new name or leave the name and then choose a location and hit save. And we've just exported that preset to the desktop. So that's importing and exporting presets in Adobe Lightroom, a very powerful feature.